I am in paradise. So one of the perks of having a destination wedding is that it's not only a one day event. There are several days that you get to bond with your family, friends, and all of your guests. And so the question here is, you get the ring, you book your wedding venue, you have all of your vendors, now what? I'll tell you what's next. First of all, ting ting, cheers! I am so thrilled today because I've been wanting to have you in Sail the Veil for many months now. And I want to introduce you. This is Diana Romos from Diana Romo Weddings. She is a top destination luxury wedding planner. And I'm so happy to have you here, Diana. I want you to tell me a little bit about you. Thank you, Moni. Thank you, first of all, for having me. This is this has been already an adventure, so it's great. So yes, you said it. Uh, we specialize in luxury destination weddings in the area, in Riviera Maya, Tulum, Cancun, all of this paradise, yes. And uh, we're very happy to be here with you. Sail the Veil does interview top-of-the-line wedding vendors. They're hand-picked, and I truly recommend them. So it's an honor to have you here. Thank you. We work a lot together and it's just amazing. We have great time. And if you are planning a wedding, she's the one. But today we have so much to talk about. Yes. But first, let's just drink a little wine. Priority. Priorities. <laughs> <laughs> so Diana, I want to know more about the experience of having a destination wedding and all the things you can do. Uh, okay, so first of all, we have to understand that a destination wedding, it's a full experience, especially if you're doing it outside the country. So people are coming already to Mexico to see a new destination. Probably people haven't even been here. This is probably their first time. Exactly. So I want to make sure that you know that there's options that you could do pre-wedding or post-wedding. Exactly, right? exactly. It's a, like the bounding that you get with a guest from the whole wedding, it's magical. And I want to share a little bit of my experience because obviously we plan weddings for so long, but we normally don't get to be a guest. At a guest. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so the first destination wedding I attended was in Portugal. This was in a beautiful town called Evora next to Lisbon. We got to the resort and it was already like a magical feeling. This extra events like either before or after creates that. At the next day of the wedding, that time, we had brunch all of us and we didn't want to leave. We were all so close together. We're still friends from people that I met there. So I think that's the magic of a destination wedding. What is the difference between a rehearsal dinner and a welcome party? One day would be as the name it is obviously a welcome party. Okay, I'm in Mexico. Give me a margarita, give me some tacos, you know, get the feeling, getting to know some people. And the rehearsal dinner, it's very important to explain everyone what's happening. So at the next day, they know where to stand and what to do, and they don't feel as nervous as if they wouldn't do it. So that's why it's called the rehearsal dinner. It's normally uh, right after the actual rehearsal. We have to keep in mind that most of your guests are arriving maybe one or two days before your wedding day. That's when all of these activities happen, right? Where they're pre-wedding. For us, it's always like, there are no rules. If you want to have a dinner a day before, but you don't want to call it a rehearsal dinner, it's fine. Because we're not here right now in this catamaran called Moana for just no reason. We're here because I think this is a perfect <laughs> way to do a welcome cocktail. I mean, are you serious? We're having <laughs> wine, we have this turquoise, it's perfect. This is amazing because it is an option that you have with all of your guests and you get the people out of the pool. You make them really visit Mexico. <laughs> exactly, and you have a beautiful light here, you have a beautiful sunset, so it's a very different experience from what you will experience at your resort, for example. Okay, a catamaran tour with all of my guests, pre-wedding event. I'm sold. Where do I sign and how in the world do I start planning this, Diana? Well, first you have to hire me. Oh! Like, that's the start. <laughs> that's, that's really important. You need a wedding planner for this, right? Would it that's be definitely important because we are not just in charge of the wedding itself. We plan everything from the arrival to the airport to this type of activities, and we make it super easy for everyone. How many months in advance should you plan your pre- um, catamaran tour? Obviously the sooner the better, but I will say probably at least two months or three months, that's probably the limit time to and just find different options. Because remember, you might have a wedding coordinator in your venue, 
but they don't usually do all of these outside wedding events. That's why if you have a wedding planner, you're on the other side because they do it all for you. Exactly. You just need to worry about drinking margaritas and enjoy your guests. Drinking margaritas and enjoying my guests. Um, I, I like that. <laughs> Do you think hiring other external vendors for a catamaran uh, tour, is that necessary? I would probably recommend to hire a photographer just to bound a little bit with the photographer. Thank you. No, and then you get all those beautiful images, white bathing suit photos or everybody has, you know, they're looking good. Do you think it's a good idea to have a dress code? Absolutely. We really? should have fun with it. Maybe, I don't know, like a nautical team, you would some whites and navy and, and you know what you stick to a color palette and your photos will look amazing exactly right? the I photographers love will appreciate that so that's a good option what other vendors should you hire or if any uh transportation okay. for sure but we will take care of it oh what about florals i would say if you have the budget and if you want to do something a little bit more elevated of course we're always up to have a little bit more of a, of a production but that's optional i would say who do you invite for your catamaran pre-wedding cocktail. If you want to keep it a little bit more intimate, then I would say close family and maybe bridal party if you're having one. But if you have maybe a 40 people uh, party, maybe you can invite everyone. Should you even consider this option for a bachelorette party? Of course, yeah. I mean, a bachelorette party here, it would be perfect. And you know what's another good option that comes into my mind? Perhaps having an elopement. Well, I love elopements. I do I think too. elopements are Cheers like to that. Yeah, cheers to you elopements. Know what? Cheers to elopement because, I mean, if you want to invite a lot of people to your wedding, that's a good idea too. But don't get me wrong, but elopements are so intimate. Exactly. Right? It's truly about the love and the couple and their experience. So, oh, I love that option. Whether if you're having a bachelorette party, a welcome cocktail, an elopement, I think the most important thing about a catamaran is that sense of freedom. Feel the breeze in your face. Breathe nature. And the more weddings that I do, the more that I receive the same comments. People always say like, this has been the best wedding that I've ever been to. Creating this type of experience, the rehearsal dinner, a next day brunch, it's, it creates a bound that they will never forget. Trust me and believe me. I trust you, I trust you. So I really think and I strongly advise that if you are planning your upcoming destination wedding, yes, consider a catamaran. I wanna take you and show you what they do for you if you are hiring this catamaran pre-wedding and what they offer. We're gonna talk to the captain. We're gonna get pampered. You wanna join me? Absolutely. Let's go. And now I want to introduce you to the owner of Moana, of this gorgeous catamaran. Thank you so much for inviting us here, Patrick. Thank you for being here. Welcome. I shouldn't even say Patrick. It is Patrick. I can't even pronounce it, Patrick. 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 The beauty of this particular catamaran stands out a lot. What is the difference between a yacht and a catamaran, like Moana? Well, the yacht is uh, a little bit noisy, I would say. What we do here is uh, we just use the engine to get out of the arbor. Once we're out there, we set up the sails, switch off the engines, and you, you can listen to the, the beauty of sailing, just listening to the waves and the wind. Oh my God, that's like so romantic. How many people does Moana Catamaran fit for your pre-wedding event? Uh, we can accommodate up to 25 people maximum. Okay, so that's what we talked about. Like, who do you get to invite? Maybe it's like your bridal party, right? Or... It all depends on the size of the party, too. Right. Is a tour for, from Moana, a catamaran, is that a day event or is that in the evening? How does that happen? Uh, from 10 o'clock in the morning up to sunset. Oh, and the sunsets mm -hmm. here are to die for. We have an overcast mm -hmm. day today, kind of. 
Uh, so kind of cloudy, really... but uh, a little bit fresher. That's good. It's so Especially good. Especially for summer. That's good. Is it common to get dizzy? And what, what if you're like a really, a, a person that you tend to get dizzy when you're on boats? I am a little bit sensitive and I'm yes. telling you, like we've been here for a good time and I'm feeling like nothing. I feel great. So it's just, it's, it's more stable. stable. Boat. It's yeah. pretty stable. Yeah. yeah. So here's something important about Moana and this particular catamaran, that this is one of the only catamarans that has its own chef. What are the perks of having you here? Well, I worked in the catering business for more than 15 years, so I, I like to cook my food and why not share it with the guest? You have so much experience too, Patrick. Uh, yes, uh, I worked in uh, England, Luxembourg, France and now Mexico. Wow. <laughs> what else does Moana have to offer for all of our couples? Well, the, we focus really on a nice selection of uh, wines, liquors. We prepare all the food on board. If it's up to six or eight people, we can do a table service. And if it's 25 people, it's like more of a cocktail reception. I have a question. Yes. What type of food do you think is like your specialty or what's like the, what you normally serve? We have a set menu that people are happy, very happy with. But uh, if there's any specialties like uh, vegan people, we, we can adapt. What about drinks? Is it more like a wine uh, oriented or it could be like a full bar or cocktail? It all depends on your taste. If, you, if you're a wine connoisseur, then we got some special wines. And if you like just cocktails and beers, we have this too. And you could put music here too, though, Of right? course, yeah. Boom, boom. You bring your own music selection, you connect. What has been the overall experience when you have couples for pre-wedding events or for um, any type of elopements? What is like the overall experience that they get here? You get a full restaurant service. And regarding the size of the group, it's either like a restaurant service at the table or more like a cocktail reception. We'll take you to Isla Mujeres, and if you want just to sail in the bay, we'll do that also. Uh, privacy, we try to keep away also from the noisy boats. You guys, I've lived here for about more than 10 years, and Isla Mujeres is one of a kind, is one of the most beautiful treasures Mexico has. And just sailing to Isla Mujeres, it's just um, phenomenal. Right. Can you jump and swim? Of course, yes. Of course, that's all Snorkeling, everybody. Snorkeling, that's what everybody wants to do, especially with the temperature like here, and, uh, all of the water. Yeah. Who doesn't want this experience? I mean, come on, your couples would love it. Oh yeah, absolutely. I'll be your captain. I always be your captain. How could you not want a pre-wedding event with this type of backdrop? Thank you so much for watching us. I want to give a special thank you note to Moana Catamaran, to Diana Romos from Diana Roma Weddings, and to all of the people that made this video possible, all of our team. Thank you so much to all of the makeup artists, which is Styling Trio. Thank you very much. Top of the line, wedding vendors. Until next time, remember, if you want to see more of these videos, subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, and follow us on our social media, Instagram, and all of our social media platforms. Until next time. Told you you're my ball. Through the wind and fire, we try to hold on. All the doors we've opened and all the books we've closed. Words that come together.